so far, I have talked to you guys about a ton of different towns in North Idaho, including in the Treasure Valley, Boise area. But I have not gone into specifics about a very, very special town that I'd like to tell you about today called Dalton Garden. As much as I love this community, there are some downsides to it. So make sure you watch all the way through because I am going to cover the pros and the cons of living in Dalton Gardens. Hey guys, my name is Trent and this is Living Life in North Idaho located in Coeur d'Alene. If this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in knowing what it's like living, working, playing, buying real estate here in Idaho, then this is the channel for you. Go ahead and tap the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so every week when I come out with a new video, you're getting notified. And I'm serious when I say this, I get calls every single day from people just like you watching the channel. They need a little bit more information about what it's like living in Idaho or they're serious and they know we're moving to Idaho. We just need someone to help make that happen. That's why we're here and we absolutely love it. So this is our phone number and our email address. Make sure you reach out day, nights, weekends. It does not matter. My team and I are always here to help make sure everyone who wants to get moved to Idaho gets here and does it as easily as possible. So today I'm gonna to go over the pros and cons of living in one of my favorite communities, which is Dalton Gardens. Now, I haven't mentioned Dalton Gardens that much because even though it's a city, it's not really like a city. It doesn't have certain components of a city. You can drive right through it and not even know you were in Dalton Gardens, but it is a very special place for the right person. It's also a horrible place if you're not the kind of person that likes this kind of place. So make sure you watch the entire video so that you don't just hear the positives, you hear the negatives. And let me know in the comments below if me thinking Dalton Gardens is an awesome place to live is accurate, or if you, after watching this you're like, yeah, no, that is not the Idaho I want. I wanna hear about it. So guys, Dalton Gardens is located between Coeur d'Alene and Hayden. It starts at Dalton Avenue and ends at Prairie Avenue, which is not very far apart. And then you have Government Way all the way to 17th. So it really is just this small little community. But what makes Dalton Gardens really a special place is it has its own mayor, its own city council, and it actually just uses the sheriff's department as a contracted deal from the county. They don't have their own police force in Dalton Gardens. And that does make this very unique because as we're seeing all of the growth happening in places like Coeur d'Alene, Hayden, Post Falls, and Rathrum, all of the surrounding towns, Dalton Gardens has spoken very loudly about the kind of community that they want to stay over the last few decades, and they've stayed true to it. The kind of community they want is a place that really respects private property and it respects the individual that wants to own land and raise their own food and have farm animals and not have to be so reliant on the grid. So one of the major pros, let's dive in, one of the major pros of Dalton Gardens is every parcel has to be at least 0.9 acres. So no matter where you live in Dalton Gardens, you're gonna have some land to be able to raise your own food have your own farm animals. Now, this is not for everyone, but for those individuals that are looking to live in Idaho, have that kind of lifestyle and not be outside of town, this is a really, really great option. Now, one of the major pros that I already kind of covered, but I wanna talk about it again. Dalton Gardens has its own mayor, it has its own city council, made up of the fewer than 3,500 residents that live in Dalton Gardens. So, when you go to a town hall meeting, when you're voting, your vote, does count. Your opinion does matter. I know a lot of people who are moving here feel like their voice has been drowned out in the place that they're living currently. So in Dalton Gardens, that is not something you have to worry about. The other major pro of Dalton Gardens is it's a very, very safe community to live in. A lot of the people, they know each other, they have the same ideals and character, and they just really want to be left alone, but they look out for each other. Also, the speed limit is only 25 miles an hour anywhere in Dalton Gardens. That got changed a while back. It used to be 35 on the arterials. Not anymore. 
25 miles an hour so you don't have to worry about your animals, you don't have to worry about your kids. People are driving slow enough that they have the reaction time to be able to stop. It just makes it a lot safer for everybody else. Another major factor, which could be a con for some people, depends on which side you're on, but it is older homes in Dalton Gardens. Dalton Gardens is an older city, so a lot of the homes that were built there were built decades ago and have been remodeled. Now, me personally, I lived in an older remodeled home and I've lived in a newer home. And personally, I will pick older remodeled over newer any day. Newer, you're getting builder grade stuff. And that's not the highest quality. You're going to notice over the years that things are breaking down, it's not looking at ni as nice. Where if an older home has been remodeled, you know it has good bones. And usually when people do a remodel, they're putting in higher quality stuff than builder grade. So for me personally, I think that's a major plus of living in Dalton Gardens. And the last major pro is you are close to everything. You are right in the center between Hayden and Coeur d'Alene. So you have access to downtown Coeur d'Alene and Lake Coeur d'Alene. You have access to Hayden and all the shopping and the beach and the lake up there. You're not far away from Post Falls. You're not far away from Spokane. You're just in your nice little community. As you're driving through, you'll see all of the livestock animals, the chickens, the gardens. So you really do feel rural, but you are literally right in the middle of everything. It's a very, very quiet community for being so centrally located. You're very, very close to the good schools like Canfield Middle School, where my son went, and now goes to Coeur d'Alene High School, where I went. Those are both really, really great schools, and they're located right next to Dalton Gardens. Now let's get on to the cons. Before you fall in love with this place, you have got to listen to all of these cons to know if this really is going to work for you. Now, the major con that people do not realize because they watch these shows, they watch other YouTubers doing homesteading and they think, yeah, I wanna live on a farm. I wanna raise my own food and my own animals. Well, that's awesome. But something that you're not understanding by watching it and hearing people's stories is that there are smells and there are noises that come from farms that are not always pleasant. In fact, as I was reading through the city plan, one of the major complaints was people that are moving to Dalton Gardens and then complaining about their neighbors in the farm and the smells that are coming from it. That's why I'm making this video because I think that's ridiculous. Don't move to a place and not know that, hey, there's gonna be some smells that are coming from those animals. You have got to know that when you live on a farm, you're gonna be dealing with that stuff. And believe me, you get used to it. In fact, now when I go out on the farm, I actually enjoy it most of the time. Sometimes it can be a little strong, but that is a part of living on a farm. You're gonna have the noises, you're gonna have the smells, and for a lot of people, that's gonna be a con. The next con that you have heard me talk about in other videos is there are wild animals in Dalton Gardens. Now, this is not like Coeur d'Alene, Post Falls, Rathdrum. You are right at the base of Canfield Mountain, and off of Canfield Mountain come a ton of wild turkeys and a ton of deer. Those are gonna be your most common wild animals, and they love to eat your garden. So you have to put up high fences, you have to protect your roses and your flowers, any sort of vegetation, those wild animals are gonna come and eat and that is the number one complaint of people living in Dalton Gardens. There is no hunting around Dalton Gardens. So those animals, I swear, they know that and they just swarm and will eat up all of your efforts that you're trying to put into making your own food. So you have to protect against that. Also, you do have elk, you do have cougar, and you do have moose that will come off of that mountain and come through town. It's pretty rare, but I would say out of most areas close to a city, Dalton Gardens gets it the most. So the next con that's gonna be a pro for some people, but you need to know all of the factors around this. All of Dalton Gardens has very limited CCNRs and most places don't have an HOA or anything. It's really designed for the private landowner, for private property, and you have to know that going in. You cannot go into this thinking this is gonna be a very, very awesome place where my neighbors are gonna do everything that I want them to do to keep their place nice. No, literally right off of Dalton is a, right across from Canfield Middle School, is a bike yard. And this guy has dozens, if not hundreds of bikes stacked up. I will say, it looks very, very organized and clean for what it is, but I imagine the neighbors that share a backyard, they probably don't like seeing that. 
but maybe they don't mind. I mean, it's totally up to them, but just know that when you live out in Dalton Gardens, people can do what they want. So no CCNRs, it's, if you really like your freedom, you have to understand it's a two-way road. Other people are gonna have those freedoms too. Another con where some people might say, hey, that's a pro for me, there's no downtown. I know it's a city, it has its own city council and mayor, but there's really no stores. I mean, there are off of Prairie and there are off of Dalton. It's very, very limited. You are going to have to travel a little bit to get to stores. Again, you're centrally located. There's just nothing right there in Dalton Gardens. It really is for residential homes uh, and mixed use with farms and stuff, but overall, it's gonna be just residential. So just know there's no downtown, there's no downtown life. You're gonna have to go somewhere else for that. Now the last major con, and I'm sorry to have to save this till the end, the median home price. The median home price in Dalton Gardens is 850,000 because you are on land and you are in a city and you can raise your own food. That's highly desirable right now. So the cost is just out of sync with what most people can do. But if you are able to do it, I would say Dalton Gardens is one of the best places to live like this here in North Idaho. So guys, that is it, the pros and cons of living in Dalton Gardens. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if Dalton Gardens is a place that you could see yourself living or if after learning what you have about working farms and living close to them, you go, yeah, no, I think I prefer the good smells of just trees and things and not animal stuff. So also, if you are serious about moving to Idaho, give me and my team a call day, nights, weekends, does not matter. We're always here for you. And until the next one, I'll see you later.